Standing in a crowded room and I can't see your face. Put your arms Mom, do you I really have to do this? Why couldn't I just stay with Aunt Tina? Aunt Tina has a one bedroom shack. But she has the barn out back. Oh, so you're going to sleep on a barrel of hay well, and live with horses and cows? It beats moving to a new city where I'm a complete nobody. At least the horses and cows won't judge me that I can't shop at Gucci or Chanel or Prada. Honey, I'm sorry my company had to move here. But you're going to fit in fine. You do, you're going to do great. You're going to make friends. You have to say that. You're my mom. <sighs> come on. Come on. Don't want to be late on your first day. Well, that makes one of us. Robin, you're gonna be fine. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. No, I was the one who bumped into you. Oh, I wasn't paying attention. Well, see ya. Hey Kirsten, how was summer? How'd therapy go? Or did you uh, screw your therapist too? That story is four months old, Klein. Tell Fowl to write some new material. Ooh. Hey, freak. Hi. Hey. Are you okay? That guy was really good to you. Wow, you're really observant. Well, yeah, he seemed to hurt your feelings. Only a little. I'm Robin. I'm new here. What, are you fresh off the bus from Pleasantville? No, I'm actually from Haverhill, Colorado. You don't really get sarcasm, do you? The school is so much bigger than my old school. My old school only had like a couple hundred kids. Is there a reason why you're still talking to me? I just feel really bad about the way that jerk treated you. That's nothing compared to what he's done to me in the past. Well, it wasn't right. And I have no problem telling him the next time he starts with you. Where'd you say you were from again? Hebel, Colorado. Never heard of it. It's a really small farm town. It has a population of 1,100. So what are you, like, breaking Amish or something? <laughs> Not exactly. My mom's company just moved us here. It was really annoying. Whoa, Max! Slow down. I know you're excited for advanced calculus, but class doesn't start for another five minutes. No, it was Evan and the jocks in the parking lot. They had water balloons. What? Back to school prank. I'm gonna get those low IQ degenerates. Well, kids, you know they'll get you wet. Max, there is nothing those boys can do that'll get me wet. Kristen, try to go one day without getting suspended. Preferably the first. Okay, fine. Um, Max, this is Rockin' Robin from Amishville, Colorado. <laughs> nice to meet you, Robin. Amishville, Colorado? Mm-hmm. So what, do you come with your own reality show or something? Where I'm from, sadly, no one has ever seen a film crew. That is so depressing. Well, actually, I am an aspiring actress. Well, don't tell Kristen. She'll make you the lead in her next feature-length film. You're a writer? Yeah, director, producer, filmmaker, mm -hmm. all aspiring. That's so cool. Yeah, except every single thing I've written just sits on my desk collecting dust. So why don't you just submit them to film festivals? That would be great if I had friends who would act in them. Well? I'm your friend now, right? Kirsten, say yes. My savior. So now that you know what teachers to avoid and what food to never eat, we must now warn you about the dictator of the school. Principal Underwood? I've met her. She's really nice. Well, actually, there's more than one dictator. Oh. Well, first there's Evan Klein. Bro, where were you last night? I went to the club, left with two girls and the bottle of Jack. Oh, that's what's up, man. Didn't even need my ID. <laughs> Avoid this guy at all costs, unless you want to be number 94 on list of girls I boned list. All this guy cares about is his car, football, getting some, and lots of beer. Mm -hmm. And then there's Fallon Prince. She's the one you need to watch out for, because she's Goldcrest High's head bitch in charge. Hey, Fallon, can I get a selfie with you? Hmm. Call my manager, and if she approves, that doesn't mean I will. She has everything. Daddy's car, Daddy's credit card, a new nose, and even her own human chihuahua. Human chihuahua? Yeah. See that blonde thing trailing Fallon's shadow? That's Melanie Gilmore. 
She has everything Fallon has, except a brain. <laughs> she thinks the country Turkey is where the first Thanksgiving took place. Let's see, am I forgetting anyone? Oh yeah, Fallon's boy toy Seth. Seth? Yeah, the star athlete, the Ken doll, the boy every girl wants to date, and the guy every guy wants to be. Where is he? I don't know, I haven't seen him, but you'll know him when you see him. He has the ego bigger than both Donald Trump and Kanye's combined. <laughs> This place is a four year long hellhole, so watch your back. I have Mr. Jackson for English, whoever the hell that is. He's new. He just transferred here from like Maine or Madagascar or something with an M. And OMG, he's such a daddy. Ew, Mel, who the hell even came up with that term? IDK, I'll check. Who came up with the term, Daddy? <sighs> Literally so pissed right now. Why? Because I haven't seen Seth all day and he hasn't answered my texts. Yeah, um, considering the fact that he just made varsity, coach has been writing him really, really hard about that to keep up his grades and everything. But, uh, you know, if uh, Seth isn't working out for you, I'm available. Oh, Evan, that's so sweet. Except I really don't feel like getting herpes this year. Oh, come on! I tested negative for that! What's up? Whoa, I'm sorry. We need to stop meeting each other like this. It's fine. I'm Seth. I'm Robin. Oh, nice to meet you, Robin. New around here? Yeah, it's kind of stupid being the loser new girl. Nah, there's nothing stupid about it. Who knows, maybe you'll be homecoming queen or something. One can dream. Yeah, well, why not? You're pretty enough. Late for class. Yeah. I'll see you around. It was nice meeting you. Yeah. You too. boyfriend gave it to me for our six month. <laughs> Lucky you. Who are you? I'm Robin. You new? Yeah. I'm from like this itty bitty little town in Colorado. Oh, I knew it. Your outfit just screams lost little farm girl. <laughs> oh, in the best way, of course. Um, thank you. <laughs> I like your nose job. <gasps> oh my god, is it too obvious? Oh, no, no, no. It's fine. It's fine. You look great. Thank god. I was afraid someone would notice. <laughs> hey, babe. Uh, How's your day? Where have you been all day? Oh, Coach has just been on top of me. It's been so annoying. Mm. Hey, you! You've just been popping up on me all day. Oh, you know Rachel? Mm. Robin. Robin. <laughs> yeah, like I've been saying, she's just been popping up on me all day. It's like, are you stalking me or something? <laughs> <laughs> well, you better not be, because he's mine. <laughs> oh, you guys date? Yeah, aren't we super cute? Uh-huh. Oh my god! Robin, you should totally come to my back to school party tonight. Mm. I hired the best DJ, I get the most expensive booze, and don't worry, I won't charge admission. Wait, isn't it like Tuesday? So? Okay, I'll be there. Oh, great! Give me your phone so I can put in my number and I'll text you the details. Here you go. See you tonight. Can't wait. Ta-ta!